Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. With that being said, let's hop into a daily affirmation. As you change your thinking and the words you speak, your experiences will also change. New thinking, ideas, and new ways of doing and being will bring about positive changes on every level. With that being said, let's hop right into it, do a general reading, see what's going on with my Pisces. All right, let's see what's going on. I already re um, pre-shuffled the deck. All right, love and light. Bless it be. All right, so let's get the cards out here. What's that? We have the Emperor. These cards are sticky. They don't really separate. We have the High Priestess. I'm just going to pick through them. We have the Knight of Coins. We have the chariot. And we have the queen of wands. All right. I picked through it like that because this deck is sticky. All right. So let's start with this knight of coins, Pisces. Pisces, you've been doing a lot of thinking, maybe overthinking a lot, not doing too much, you know, moving forward. I feel like you're devising a plan that will have you fulfilled for a long time. I see all the fireflies up in here. It's like you got a lot of great ideas, a lot of, of things you've done to put yourself in a financially stable place. But it's like you got to take the action. You got to put in the work. You got to move forward on it. You can't just think about it. You know, don't be afraid to put your ideas out there. Don't be afraid, you know, to show people what you're working with. If you plan something and you feel like it's going to work, now is the time to take action on that, Pisces. I feel like you've been in this place for a long while. And now it's time to uh, make a move, you know. Here you lead with the emperor. So whatever you're planning, you know, the emperor is somebody who's wise, somebody who's strong, not easily manipulated, you know, um, very stern in what they feel to be true, very successful. And it's mind blowing how far you can go. You know what I mean? There, you, The sky is the limit for you. Keep your passion. You know, if you're passionate about something that you've been planning, move forward on that and you will succeed and it will be stable and strong here. We also have the high priestess. Pisces, this is like follow your intuition. Listen to yourself. Believe in yourself. You know what you need to do. Any questions you may have, you already have the answers to them. You've already thought about this over and over. You've planned this. You've, you've stewed over this idea for success. And you got what it takes. All you have to do is believe in yourself, Pisces. And you can go to places out of this world. Here, we have the chariot. You have the willpower. You're determined as hell. All you have to do is put one foot in front of the other. Pisces, your confidence is where it needs to be. Stop underestimating yourself. Move forward. You're very beautiful, charming. You know, there's nothing you can't do. All you have to do is put one foot in front of the other. And watch how far you can go. 
here with the Queen of Wands. Pride may be a big issue here. A lot of Leo energy. Pride may be an issue, Pisces, because you don't want to fail. You don't want to look a certain way. You don't want people to view you a certain way. Well, when did you start caring about stuff like that? You're very observant. You know what you need to do. You're very confident. You're beautiful. You got growing hands. Don't let pride and ego stop you from the life you want to live. Okay? Let's get... Get, let's see why the emperor is here. Why is the emperor here? One card at a time, please. Why is the emperor here? Okay, I'm just going to take this one on the top. You have the star. Pisces, you're ready. You've stepped into your own. You've hoped and prayed. And you got what you wish for. Now you can stand up and wear your crown, Pisces. I'm sorry, that noise threw me off. But um, now you can stand up and wear your crown. It's like with this star sitting right under the emperor. Pisces, like I said, the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. Make peace with your decision and move on. Move towards it. You know what I'm saying? Make peace with the decision that you've made with the Knight of Pentacles. And, and move forward on it. Whatever plans you have for success. Ooh, I didn't even have to ask, but the high priestess is here because of the two of swords. And maybe you haven't taken action because you're unable to see the future, but the future isn't for you to know. It's important that you make the decisions now and live in the present moment. You know, don't don't be fearing. See how he got that moon under his feet? Don't fear change. Don't fear making the decision. You know, you can make a decision and it can go this way or you can make a decision and it can go that way. But keep your vision. Don't become blocked in your thoughts. Listen to your intuition. Follow what comes from within. You already know the answers. Now it's time to take the action and make the decision. Okay, don't let your overthinking block you from your success story. Why is this Knight of Coins here for Pisces? Why is the Knight of Coins here for Pisces? I'm just going to take the card on top. And we have the Eight of Swords. You overthinking. You all up in your head. You haven't taken action on your plans. You feel stuck. You feel like <sighs> Pisces, you feel like you've trapped, you know? It's time to take action. I promise you, if you take action and move these swords around, those webs will break. The webs are here. It indicates that you've been in the same place too long. Take action on your plans. That's what this reading is about. Take action and not being trapped in your thoughts. Not overthinking. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you thought about this long enough. Now you stuck in your thoughts. And that's blocking you from listening to your intuition. Your, your, intent, your, your power, your overall energy to lead this reading is the emperor. Pisces, you want to be stable. The emperor is solid. The emperor comes with the star. The sky's the limit. All you have to do is stand up. Take the steps, put in the action, put in that work, put one foot in front of the other, Pisces. Don't be blocked or trapped in your decision. Let's see, why is the chariot here? It's time to move on. Be confident. Be strong-willed. The chariot is here because of the page of wands. Be inspired by your plans. Be inspired by your blueprint. Be inspired. Get creative. Take the steps. Look at him. He put in one foot in front of the other. It looked like he finna squash a lizard. Sometimes you may have to step on other people to get where you need to go. And I know you being you, you know, that generous nature that you have, you know, probably not a cruel bone in your body. You don't want to... Um, 
misuse or or treat anybody inappropriate but you nobody never made it to the top without getting their feet dirty you know Sometimes you just have to get your feet dirty. Right now, you're rooted. Look at those roots holding you down. You're inspired. You're rooted. But now it's time to come up out of that same place you've been sitting in and just put one foot in front of the other. And whatever fear it is that's under your feet, go ahead and step on it. Go ahead and squash it, you know? Why is the queen of wands here for Pisces? And we have the hermit. It's time to come out of isolation, Pisces. That's what I feel. It's time to come out of isolation. Stop holding everything you know secrecy. All your great ideas, you don't even present those to the world. You talk about the dumb shit. Let's talk about the real shit here with the hermit. You're very wise, especially with the emperor and the hermit. You're very wise. You're very smart, Pisces. All you have to do is believe in yourself. You blocking your intuition by overthinking. By overthinking. And you you feeling trapped in that. Well, the hermit here is full of spider webs too. You know, it's time to break out of that isolation. It's time to speak on the things that you know to be true. And that's your plan. Put it into action. You're never going to get nowhere staying in isolation. If you want something to work out for you, if you want to be a success, you have to start making moves. You have to start taking action. You are already a star. People will recognize you, Pisces. Come up out of solitude and take action for the things you want. In order to get success, you have to put one foot in front of the other. And sometimes you may have to step all over somebody to get what you want. Nobody never made it without getting their hands and feet dirty okay so i hope this resonated with someone all right let's see where you're at on your soul's journey pisces where's pisces on their soul's journey life is art paint your dreams sing your songs and enjoy the dance so you've already strategized, you've already planned it. That's 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 painting your dreams. Taking action is singing your songs, doing the dance. Life is art. Being confident, having the will to build your own empire. Not letting pride and ego consume you. All right, Pisces. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity. To see which chakra needs to be worked on. Or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. So here we have the sixth chakra. And this is the third eye chakra. And this one is relevant to wisdom and discernment. I am open to understanding the spiritual truths behind the situations according, occurring in my life right now. I offer my wisdom to assist others along their path. I trust in a higher source to guide me and help others who ask for my guidance. I practice discernment and I listen deeply within for the truth. I choose to respond rather than just reaching to situations, acting with clarity, courage, and conviction. Wisdom and discernment are positive energy for today. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have for you, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.